Today we're going to test out this new camera I got. It's a little action camera. Uh, it was given to me by one of my buddies. So we're going to test it out. And what we're going to do to test it out is we're going to shoot the bow a little bit today. Get ready for deer season next weekend and test out some different camera angles with this camera. I've got the upper bow mount for the GoPro. And then I think I want to try a stabilizer mount which I've got all kinds of different mounts and harnesses and everything in this thing this is a barrel mount for a shotgun or a rifle uh, I've got all kinds of stuff for it but we're gonna test that out and see exactly how good this camera is and see how like good the shots are with different angles. So we're gonna test it out and see. Angle is on top of the bow's arm. And you see my bag and everything. And there's the target. Alright. We're at 20 yards. I'm not doing nothing crazy today. Just I want to see how these new camera angles can work and how good this new camera is. So first shot at 20. Shooting it for the third and fourth time with the camera. Grab my second arrow. If y'all can see that from the camera, you off of the upper arm mount. Now I'm gonna try to find something that could possibly be used to go around the stabilizer. Uh, this mount is easy to use, very easy to use. First, you take off the case, and this is for the other GoPro that I got casing which I've got a mount for that one and I like it a whole lot better than my old GoPros and you unscrew that and you pull it out I don't know how much more we can unscrew is that tightening? that's tightening okay. I don't know how much more okay that's as far as we can go that's almost there. Well, that's it, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now, it's not stable. I'm not going to trust that to hold my camera. Well, that one's pretty stable. Alright, I'm going to get the housing out and attach it and put the camera inside we're gonna see the angle on that okay to pick up my phone to record this one but this is how we've got the mount on the stabilizer there's the barrel mount attached and the housing would not fit on the barrel mount correctly it would have a lean to it so it would face down so i added this little connector piece and that way you could turn the camera side to side added another one that way i could move it forward and backwards to aim like up and down and that's how i've got it on there
going on guys today we got a special hunt for y'all it's a quail and pheasant hunt we're doing a two-day hunt today and then tomorrow so this will be it'll all be combined into one we'll have it we all can see both and then know which one's from which but uh right now we're out here cleaning up deer feeders getting ready for the upcoming deer season as you can see we've got our feeders cleaned out and we're getting them ready two weeks from today open day of both season here in Alabama so uh, very excited for that all right guys we got the feeder set out and put it together we got about an hour and a half or maybe two hours until we got a minute to hunt so we're about to go grab a bite to eat and then we'll see y'all at the place well we're here and we were, while we wait on other guys to get here, tell them what we're doing, Levi. We are quail and pheasant hunting today. You excited? Heck yeah. Dakota, Dakota. Bird! Headed right for you. Joey. Good job, Joey. Hey, 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 right here, right here. Gage, be ready. He's, he's coming right for you. Right, he's right here. Gage. Oh, Joey. Nope. You got him. The grass for the dog. 